everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out a wearable blood pressure monitor smartwatch called the BP Doctor Pro. It is a smartwatch with a built-in micro air pump and a built-in replaceable inflatable air cuff that can measure your blood pressure just about anywhere and any time as long as you are wearing the smartwatch on your wrist. So it can take your blood pressure and your heart rate and your oxygen level in your blood. So taking a closer look, it looks like your ordinary digital smartwatch. It will show you the time and the date in different watch faces. Simply long press on the watch face and the display face becomes smaller and a haptic feedback is felt. Now you can slide to choose what kind of watch face that you want to set. And they do provide quite a few of them. Some of them you have to download. I kind of prefer this one here. So just tap to select and set that watch face. So on the side, here's the power button. Here's the circular button. Now long press the power button to power on and long press the power off. And it's already powered on, so I'll long press the power off. And it's going to ask you to shut down and you just slide to shut down. There you go. Now long press to power it back on. Takes a little while. And there you go. Powers back on. And the clock face. Now while it is on, short press to put it to sleep. And another short press will wake up the display. Right below the power button, the elongated button, is the mode button. Press it to wake up the display as well. Press again for the main menu, which shows you the icons. And press again to go back to the clock face display. In the rear, we have the PPG sensors or the photoplethysmography sensors. It is a non-invasive technology that uses a light emitting diode and a photo detector to measure the volume variations of blood circulation. And here is the replaceable inflatable air cuff right behind the watch band. This is what inflates when you take your blood pressure. It also has a built-in triaxial accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a pressure sensor. And it has a built-in 170 milliamp lithium battery. Charge it up using the charge cradle. Power source the charge cradle via the micro USB port with the provided charge cable. It takes about an hour to fully recharge and it will last all day with heavy use. So swipe down from the clock face to enter into the control center. You can set the brightness here. It's a little too bright and that's a little bit too dark. So I'll leave it right about here. That is just about right. Now you can also turn on and off the Bluetooth. You can turn on and off the haptic feedback or the vibration. You can enter into the settings and you can turn on low power mode, turn on or off the alarm and turn on do not disturb mode. Swipe to the right from the clock face for the sports step count history. You have the distance, calories burned and the steps taken. Swipe to the left from the clock face for the latest blood pressure history. Swipe left again for the latest heart rate history and swipe again to the left for the latest blood oxygen history. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a blood pressure. So we are here at the blood pressure history page. So tap once on the start button to start taking your blood pressure. It will show you how and where to place your wrist and the air cuff will begin to inflate and your systolic and diastolic pressures will be displayed on screen. It will also show you your heart rate. 
So it is inflating 100 millimeters of mercury and climbing. So it is amazing that such a small air pump can inflate the air cuff and constrict your wrist as much as you can see. My veins on the top of my hand is starting to get more puffier because of the constricting part of the wrist. Look at that, over 200 millimeters of mercury. And there you go. Uh, I got a pretty high reading because I'm quite not at a comfortable spot here. Usually it's a lot lower than that. Now you can swipe up to see your blood pressure records for the day and it will keep up to 30 blood pressure records. As you can see, I've taken a lot. Now swipe to the left to measure the blood pressure of a guest and this will not affect your saved records. So here we are at the heart rate history page. Now tap on the screen to measure your heart rate. It will show you the current heart rate. There you go, 75 beats per minute. Oop, it just went up to 80 and 83. Look, it's racing now, 87, 89. Now the screen will stay on so you can keep monitoring your heart rate. If you want to keep monitoring your heart rate in the background, swipe up and turn on auto measure. So here we are at the blood oxygen sensor page. Tap on the screen here as well to start measuring your blood oxygen level. It takes a few seconds. Now the screen will stay on while you're monitoring your blood oxygen level as well. There you go, 98%. Here we have the mode button, the elongated button that's right underneath of the power button. At any time, long press to start measuring your blood pressure. There you go. When the display is turned off, press once to wake up the display. Press once again to enter the main menu. Here in the main menu, we have the blood pressure icon, which will take you to the same blood pressure measurement page, the blood oxygen icon, the heart rate icon, and a workout icon where you can choose outdoor walking, indoor running and outdoor running options. Tap on one of the choices to begin. It will monitor time elapsed, distance traveled, and your heart rate, as well as the pace. Swipe to the left to pause or stop. We have the alarm settings. You can set up multiple alarms. We have the calories icon. It will show you calories burned in a circular graph. Swipe up to see the numerical values. You can check on your sleep record with the sleep monitor. Here I got seven hours and 53 minutes of sleep last night. Swipe up to see your sleep quality and my sleep quality was at 87 percentile score. Swipe up again to see your sleep analysis. Here's my sleep analysis. So you got amount of light sleep, which was five hours and 11 minutes and amount of deep sleep, which was two hours and 42 minutes. And awake period was none. And here we have the HRV or the heart rate variability monitor. It will give you an insight into your stress level your body is under via the Lorentz scatter diagram. A comet-shaped diagram represents normal heart rate variability, and a rocket-like shaped diagram represents abnormal heart rate variability, meaning snoring and apnea conditions. And here we have the weather icon. You can go ahead and tap to see the weather outside. You need to be connected with your Bluetooth to your phone or your device that has cellular service or Wi-Fi service. 
Now here is also the settings. So let's go ahead and enter into the settings. Here's the display. You can go ahead and set the screen timeout from five seconds to 20 seconds. And you can set the brightness. You can toggle always on and you can raise to wake and you can choose the dial theme from here. I have this theme here, but you can go ahead and choose whichever theme you want. Kind of like this one here. There you go. Now in the alert, you can turn on apnea alert. It will sense the blood oxygen level and alert you of low levels and move it alert. And uh, this is if you are stationary for a while, it will alert you to move around. Here we have the abouts page. You can choose a language and set your preference in units for distance in miles or kilometers, the temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius. Finally, you can reset the watch, which will erase all of the recorded data. So download the Bluetooth connectable phone app. It is called the BP Doctor, a free downloadable app in the App Store. So go ahead and check it out. You will need to download this app to initially connect to the smartwatch to get it started. Connect to the smartwatch via Bluetooth to show today's health. We have the latest blood pressure taken. Tap to show more. It will show you a graph of the measurements the average measurements for the day, as well as the recent measurement. You can scroll down to show a graph in terms of stages where your blood pressures are, and also the individual readings that you have taken throughout the day today. Tap on the week to see average measurement of a specific day and the weekly summary. Scroll down a little more for the readings for each day average and the heart rate as well. Tap on the year to show the long term average for the month and the yearly summary. Tap on the blood oxygen tab to see the day, the week and the year summary for your blood oxygen readings. Tap on the average heart rate and tap on the HRV and compare your diagram to the diagram of the comet and the rocket. Check on your weight and check on your workout of the workout record that you have done for the day, for the week, and for the year. Also steps that had you have been taken for the day, for the week, and for the year and calories burned for the day, week, and year as well. You can also check on your sleep data for the day, for the week, and also for the year. Now you can also schedule an alarm from here and go into your profile. Here you can set up preferences and choose more watch faces. These are free to download and you can also see what you already have downloaded into your watch. Here you can choose a face and set as a new face for your watch. Right now I have the tiger. So let's go ahead and set it back to this one. Set as theme, set the dial, confirm and successful. So I've been using this Muno tabletop portable blood pressure monitor to check my blood pressure every day. It works great, but if I go somewhere, I will need to pack it up and take it with me. But with this BP Doctor Pro, I just simply tap on a few buttons since I already have it on me to measure my blood pressure. So it is really, really convenient. And so far, the results or the measurement readings has been pretty much on par with the Muno blood pressure monitor. 
and the measurements are pretty consistent. Just make sure the level of the watch is at level with your heart and that you are relaxed and comfortably sitting down. If the watch is below your heart level, then it will give you a false high reading. And if it is above your heart level, it will give you a false low reading. And also tighten up the band really tight while taking the measurement for better results. And then you can loosen the band after that for comfort. Now I've been wearing it all day for the last several days and it hasn't bothered me at all. And I'm not a normal watch wearer. So it is very comfortable and you get used to wearing this smartwatch within the first day. So there you have it guys, the YHB BP Doctor Pro, the wearable smartwatch that with the built-in blood pressure monitor, the heart rate sensor, and the blood oxygen sensor, and much more. So if you want to check it out for yourself, the product link is down below in the video description. So thank you so much for checking out the video. Have a great day, and we'll see you again next time.